Psalm 89 verse 19. Pashoko babada yada. Eighty-nine, verse nineteen. Then thou speakest in vision to thy holy one, and sayest, "I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. Exalted by what means? I have found David, my servant." With my holy oil have I anointed him. Speaking on the subject, anointing for lifting. I enter the holy of holy. Lord, I enter to the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship your name. Lord, I enter to honor Anointing for lifting. Scripture makes it clear that the anointing of God is a major tool for the lifting of people. David was lifted by the anointing. My horn shall thou exalt like the horns of the unicorn. I shall be exalted with fresh I shall be anointed with fresh oil Psalm 92 verse 10 Saul was lifted by the anointing 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 1 Then Samuel took a vial of oil poured it upon his head kissed him said, is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? The anointing is a lifter of lives. A lifter of destiny. Very quickly this morning. How does the anointing lift? Number one, the anointing exerts a direct lifting power. Direct. It exerts power to lift. The way a lift is powered, an elevator is powered to help you through it. A skyscraper. The way a forklift or a man lift, that kind of vehicle or truck that lifts people up to do electrical works on light poles and those kind of things. The same way they are wired to lift. The anointing carries the, a direct lifting power. It takes you up. Secondly, of course we, we looked at that already in Psalm 89 and in verse 19. Secondly, the anointing dismantles burdens and destroys yokes. Isaiah 10, 27. The meaning is, by the agency of the anointing,
yokes and limitations and burdens that prevent your lift are shattered. They are scattered. That is those things, whether anywhere it came from, that does not want your head to lift can be broken by the power of the anointing. Thirdly, the anointing is oil for light. And light is key to both lift and flight. An anointed person is someone who has been oiled to catch light. Exodus 25 and in verse 6 talks about the oil, oil for the light. Exodus 27, 20 also talks about oil for the light. And once light comes, you rise, you shine, you fly. Isaiah 61. Meaning is, the anointing opens your eyes to see what you never saw. The anointing is key to insight, is key to revelation. And revelation brings elevation. The unction brings revelation. Revelation brings elevation. Higher levels of the anointing equals higher levels of insight. If we are anointed alike, we'll see alike. So the anointing has a direct lifting power. The anointing breaks the yokes and the limits that don't want you to rise. And the anointing is oil for light. Fourth, number four, the anointing releases in, or rather, the anointing releases graces and giftings in the life of the anointed. Graces and giftings. And the graces and giftings are relevant for liftings. Releases graces and giftings. Acts 10 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing. Healing was in him, healing was a possibility, but it never manifested. Until he came out of the waters of Jordan. Until David was anointed in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. Nobody knew that he had a gift. Nobody knew that he was the most talented instrumentalist in Israel. But when the anointing came on him, his gifts came alive. And when the gift came alive, the king sent for him to the palace. The, the anointing releases upon you graces and giftings that guarantee your liftings in life. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? Someone here, pastor here, minister of God here, get ready to experience graces, gifts, that you haven't seen before by the oil that will come upon you today. A businessman, a political person, get ready to experience giftings and graces in your life today such as you have never seen before. Shout the loudest, amen. Finally, the anointing brings the fragrance of favor. And like you know, favor is crucial for lifting. Brings the fragrance of favor. 
Exodus chapter, tw chapter 30, verse 23 to 25, he says, Take thou also unto you principal spices of pure myrrh, 500 shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even 250 shekels, and of sweet calamus, 250 shekels, and of Keshia, 500 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and of oil, olive, and him. And you shall make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. The NIV calls it, or the, the, the New Living Translation, Good News Bible, is after the act of the perfumer, of the perfumer, Please, I'm, I'm, I'm not true, verse 25. After the act of the apothecary, verse 25, it shall be a holy anointing oil. Anointing oil was made of aromatic perfumes, aromatic oils, oils that carry aroma. So that in those days, when the priest that is anointed passes, nobody need to tell you, the fragrance fills the air. It fills the air. That is exactly what an anointed person is in the realm of the spirit. When you are really anointed of God, you have been perfumed by God. It is a fragrance of favor. You have been perfumed by God. And that perfume is a door opener. That fragrance of favor, like it was in Queen Esther. Esther chapter 2 verse 15. You know, it was also the oil, aromatic oils that, that, that they bathed themselves with in the book of Esther. And in chapter 2, verse 15, as Esther found favor, verse 16, the king sent for her. They will send for you today. They will send for you today. I don't know how you came here. But the oil that is coming on you today is going to take you up. I don't know how you came in here today, but anything that has placed a limit on your life, by the anointing today, the yoke shall be scattered. And it doesn't take time, it takes a touch. That woman, that woman said, he was expecting some fire prayer. For a man that was literally paralyzed. And he said, you are healed. That was not a prayer. That was a decree. You are healed. And walked your way. And he's healed. Those graces in your life that have been hidden. Today, it shall be manifested. You are saying, amen, say it like a believer. You are saying him and say it like a believer. Yeah. The anointing will cause your voice to be heard. Yeah. And that anointing this morning will change the smell of your life. Yeah. It will change the aroma of your life. Yeah. It will change the fragrance of your life. Yeah. Are you ready at all? Lift up your right hand. There are many keys to the anointing. But two major keys. First is committed service. I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil. Committed service. Backed up with the heart of servanthood. You refuse to be a master. God doesn't anoint masters. He anoints servants. You refuse to, you, you remain a servant in God's hands. You remain with a heart of humility perpetually. And second is submission. 
submission. Submission to anointed, to, to God ordained anointed vessel. Your God ordained. God could not send any other person to anoint Saul but Samuel. And Samuel submitted. He looked, sorry, Saul submitted. He, he said, There is a seer here. Let's look for him. He couldn't send another person to anoint David but Samuel. Not everybody carries your oil. Not everybody. Not everybody carries the oil that is needed for your head. Not everybody carries the hair oil that is needed for your destiny. Not everybody carries the oil that is needed for your next level. That is needed. There are people just moving about carelessly, surrendering their head to just anybody. There are people who lay hands on you, something leaves you. Instead of something entering, something left. There are people who pour oil on you, pour the, the pot. Somebody was telling me how somebody was anointing him and the prayer the person was praying was more of causes than blessing. Yes. Human beings are wicked. Not everybody carries the oil that you need. And when you find the oil that you need, Submit to it. Camp with it. It changes your life. It fights your battles. And let me say something and then I'll end. Even if you have found the right oil, your heart disposition determines the dimension of the oil that comes on you. The dimension. The flow, then the dimension. Because the same anointed vessel who carries the oil carries different dimensions of it. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? There are people the same father anointed them but different results. Different dimensions. It is all dependent on the heart. The anointed vessel has different vessels he uses to administer the oil. Different containers. <laughs> Depending on who is being anointed. It was not the same container that was used for Saul, that was used for David. No. When it was Saul, he carried a vial of oil. When it was Samuel, the oil was inside the horn. David. The same father. In First Samuel chapter 10 verse 1, he anointed Saul from a vial. And Samuel took a vial of oil. That is more like a vase, more like um, a teacup or something. For Samuel, he said, for David, he said, fill thy horn with oil. Because this guy's heart is set and I want you to put on him a warrior's mantle. Fill your horn with oil. And he filled the horn. So whereas Samuel was anointed, Saul was anointed from a plate, David was anointed from a horn. By the same person. By the same person. I don't know.
know what is going to come on you today? It is not the vessel carrier that determines it is the heart of the person that determines what God will direct. He didn't say to, to, to Samuel, carry your, your vial of oil and anoint David. No, this man needs a horn. I, I want to give him something stronger. I want to give him something heavier. And beyond that, he's a major fighter. I don't want him to lose a battle. Position a horn on his head. Stand up on your feet. Place the horn on his head. I don't know about you, but I don't want ordinary plate. The oil is good, but if it is from a horn, I'll be all right. The wickedness in the world is too much. The devils and his angels, agents are too restless. We need the horn. And it takes a heart to connect that horn. So, so we say, but we are going to the same church. Do we have the same heart? <laughs> we are, what do I have submitting to the same spiritual father? Do we have the same spiritual alignment? Do we think alike? Very, very important. Very, very important. Lift up your right hand and let's appreciate him. Mashakola. Shoko. Shuma 